Um... What? Ah! There's a Lion King game? What's up guys, the tech spot here, back with another fire upload, how to play all your favorite old school console games using Web Arcade. Now Web Arcade supports arcade games, Atari, Bandai, Nintendo 64, Nintendo NES, Game Boy, Sega Genesis, Sony PlayStation, and so much more. Web Arcade is super easy to install. You can hook up all your favorite controllers, whether it has Bluetooth, and play your games. So you can use your Xbox controller, your Wii controllers, Switch Pro or Bluetooth NES controllers. As long as your controller has Bluetooth, you are good to go. I am so excited. Let's get started. If you want this wallpaper, links down below in the description. Ain't that right, Captain Mario? <laughs> So open up your internet browser, click on the link that'll be down below in the description to Web Arcade, and simply it says play over there, just tap on play, it'll bring you to Web Arcade over here. We're simply going to add it to our home screen, just tap on the share button, scroll down until you find add to home screen, tap on there, and simply hit add. Now it'll be on our home screen right there, boom, there it is, Web Arcade. I'm just going to move it over to a blank page for the purpose of this video, and here we are. Now we are basically done, simply go ahead and open up a Web Arcade, and you guys can see the logo pop up right there. Right off the bat, we do have a bunch of games that we go and choose from from Atari to Game Boy to Sega Genesis to Doom and so many more. It's absolutely insane how many consoles are available on this. We're going to be adding even more games and consoles. So where it says categories over here, you simply want to go and tap on it. It'll bring you back. And now you guys can see if you tap on add feed and then URL up here, you can just paste in a URL. So down below in the description, I will have multiple URL feeds that you can just go ahead and paste over here and add them. And if I do find any more in the future, I will put those down below in the description as well. So you guys can have even more games and consoles working on a device. So I'm just going to go and paste the first one and there it is. You guys can see that. Okay. And you guys can see it loads up and here it is. All the different consoles, Sony, PlayStation, and so many more. So it's really, really cool. Sega Genesis. If I go back to categories, you guys can see now we have two. So we had the default one and the new one that we added over here. So now I do have another one for you guys to add as well. So again, just tap on add feed and tap on the URL again and delete this up here. Tick, 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 tick. Paste in the second URL and just hit load again. And now it's loading up the second one. So loads of consoles again available over here. It's absolutely insane. And if I go back to categories, again, we have the default one now, the first web feed, and we have the second one. If I do say any more, I will put those down below in the description as well, so you can copy and paste those as well and add even more games. But from here, to be able to play the games, you do actually need to hook up a controller. So over here, I have my Xbox controller. Now, to put it in Bluetooth mode for every controller, is a little bit different. Just going to look up how to put your controller into the Bluetooth pairing mode. So for the Xbox, it's simply hold on the Xbox button and the sync button at the same time. So it's going to hold down those buttons until it starts blinking, just like that. Now, on our phone, open up these settings and then head over to Bluetooth. Here you will find your Xbox controller at the very bottom. You simply just want to go ahead and tap on it. So I already have mine connected. You guys see I just tapped on it, connected. Let's go to choose Nintendo NES first and hit load. And you guys can see all the games are in here. So all the games are in here as you guys can see. Yeah. Super Mario Bros. So I could actually go and use my Xbox controller to control the interface too. And I'm going to hit A and hit A again to play and tap screen to unmute. Oops, sorry Mario. And yeah, you can just tap the screen to pause it again. And if you tap on this button over here, you guys can see that you can see the controls or adjust the controls. If I tap on this button too, there's also keyboard controls as well. And tap the screen again. If I tap on NES settings, I can make it fill up the screen. 69 or fill, it will fill up the entire screen. So hit OK. Look at that. It fills up the entire screen now. It's a little bit stretched. It's so awesome that you do not have to download any of these games. They literally just load up from the cloud. So it will not take up any storage on your phone. And you don't have to download them manually. Add these different web feeds and all the games are available. Push start button. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I want to be Mario. All right, we're loading in. Oh my god, yo, this is so cool. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, you kind of just jump down. And then, uh, you remember you jump falling for a while. It felt like a while back then. Let's go behind the door. And look at this, bro. This is such a classic. Oh my gosh. So I could just go in and, uh... Oh, wait, what, which button is jump? Okay, B is jump. I could go and change that in the settings too. You can also use the triggers and everything. Pause the game just by hitting the start button. You guys can see it pauses and hit unpause again. To exit the game, simply tap on the screen. And you guys can see return to games. And then also, like, once you're out of the game, you can tap on the settings over here. And you can change the default settings for all the games. So if you want to fill up for all games, you can make it fill. And then go over here. You could change this to on for a cloud storage so basically it will save all your games state to the cloud so you just connect to your cloud and you're basically good to go and you also have advanced settings right there as well really very simple uh let's go ahead and play some games holy crap guys this is so cool whoa oh my god of course they put a block there we're playing metroid now what Oh my god, bro. I mean, look at the graphics on there, too. It bets is back in the day. Like, that is incredible. For back in the day, like, the stars look real nice. We're in a little spaceship. You're in. <laughs> I like the sound effect for the jump. Oh, yeah, I suck. What the heck? There's a Pringles game? 
Um, so now we're gonna play Aladdin. Oh, whoa. <laughs> what the? Genie just shot a gun into this guy. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <sighs> kind of put it right there. Whoa. I got a sword. <laughs> what? Ah! What? Yo, that's so cool. There's a Lion King game. Yo, I'm Simba. Oh, that's so dope. <laughs> wow. All right, now we're playing Doom Classic. Okay, A's to shoot. I, I could change that in settings. Where are the enemies? Well, all these games shaped what games are today. Have these all under device without having to download anything. And it supports all your various controllers as well. Enjoy playing all your favorite classic titles. If I find any more links for more game feeds, I'll link them also down below in the description. This is the text bot. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.